Well, YouTube is fine here with Hobbies and Man once again, and today we are doing another first impressions review uh, because there was another new um, series that started on Shonen Jump just this past weekend. Um, so, yeah. Uh, also, happy Thanksgiving. If you guys uh, are watching this when this comes out, happy Thanksgiving. I hope you guys had a lovely time with your family, but uh, let's get into it. So today we're going to be talking about Protect Me. Shogu Maru. This is written by I, uh, sorry, Daiki I, Ikara or Ihara uh, and published on Shonen Chump. Obviously, it's available in English through Viz. Um, and the demographic here is obviously Shonen because it's in the Shonen magazine. The genres here seem to be comedy and action. I haven't actually seen if there's any official kind of like, you know, uh, place where it says, hey, this is this genre, but based on what it's kind of doing, it definitely is a action comedy in the vein of like, um, Mashal, something like that. Okay, and um, yeah, so the premise here is basically that there's this young Harris called Sanagi Ojo, who is uh, going to attend this, you know, kind of regular high school. And because of that, because she is a important person, a person with a lot of money, she needs a bodyguard because there's this you know, like secret organization that's out to get her or something like that. It's uh, kind of funky, but kind of sensical enough that it like kind of works. Um, and, and it turns out that her bodyguard is a, the youngest son of the group or the group, the clan, the family that has always guarded the Ojo family, right? And the thing is that he's, like, insane. He's crazy. He doesn't really, like, understand the idea of holding back and stuff like that. And so now she has to deal with being a teenager, being in high school, and with her crazy bodyguard. And um, her bodyguard is Shogu, Sh Shogu Maru, sorry. And um, it's actually pretty funny. Honestly, it's my favorite thing ever. Like, I didn't love it. It wasn't, like... Holy crap, this is amazing. But it wasn't horrible. I'm not really the biggest, like, fan of gag manga or anything that is particularly too, like, what's it called? Um, gimmicky. Like, I, I enjoy some gimmicks in, um, in certain manga, but usually if it's, like, literally just one thing that gets repeated over and over and over and over and over again, I don't really like it because I feel like it gets boring after a while. Um... So I don't really love that sort of stuff. However, I found that this was just the right amount of stupid to be charming and kind of really, um, maybe not like the most enjoyable thing ever, but definitely a fun kind of like relaxing, uh, turn off your brain and just enjoy this like crazy comedy. Um, so yeah, I don't know. I, I, th I found it to be pretty enjoyable. And I saw a lot of people say that it was pretty garbage and I can totally understand that. I usually do think that most gag manga are probably going to be garbage. And so I don't really ever read them. Um, and I only just gave this one a try because it was the first um, the first chapter. I definitely want to read more of it. So I'm definitely going to keep uh, checking it out. However, um, I'm kind of sad that this is one of the stories that replaced Red Hood. Because I feel that this is... Um, Definitely not as good as Red Hood or Nehru, and I didn't even like Nehru that much, but, like, Red Hood was so awesome, and I feel that it didn't get to, uh, get to the point where it was, like, good, and, and, like, cutting it off was too, uh, too quick, but apparently 20 chapters is kind of like the, kind of, uh, normal cutting, cutting off point, so can't really complain about, uh, Red Hood being axed too much. But it is kind of sad. So, um, I don't know. I, I think that this is going to be a fun series. It's going to be something that uh, maybe doesn't have the biggest following. But it'll have enough people liking it to kind of um, kind of continue for a while. And if it ends up getting axed pretty fast, I mean, that's okay, right? Because it's, it's just a comedy manga. It's, it's fine. It doesn't really need to have this giant overarching story. It just has to be uh, consistently funny, right? So... I think that it would be okay. Um, I don't really have any particularly strong feelings about it. Um, not like I had for Red Hood. So, uh, I don't know. I think that generally it's fine. And uh, I definitely want to read more. But I don't really find it to be um, like the next big thing, right? So, I don't know. 
yeah, I, I think that's all I have to say for it, actually. Uh, the rating here is a 3 out of 5. Um, like I said, I thought I thought that it was stupid, but in a charming kind of way. I thought that it uh, kind of had something going for it, but it wasn't, like, the biggest thing ever. I think that it... Well, well it went well. Sorry, I <laughs> couldn't speak for a second. And uh, I hope that it goes even better. The mangaka for this, uh, Daiki Ihara, actually wrote a One Piece spin-off rom-com type of series. Um, it's like uh, some kids in the high school like One Piece, and so they make a club around it. And what happens is that they end up in a romantic situation because of it. I think that's interesting. Hopefully, we get that in English if uh, this ends up being pretty good. Um... Because I actually find that concept pretty interesting, but I don't know if that's, like, allowed in, in, in like, the American kind of market. I don't know. Um, so, we'll see. Because that's, like, like, that sort of parody, I don't know if that's, like, usually something that publishers would go for. So, I don't know. But, yeah, that's, that's all I have to say for this. So, uh, yeah, let me know what you guys thought down in the comments. Let me know if you guys enjoyed this or if you didn't. Um, and, yeah, see you guys later.